Hey, Mech Warriors, welcome to Bad Ben's Battle Mechs. I'm Bad Ben. I, uh, this is episode 32, I believe, of my Road Tech playthrough. A lot has changed. I'll get to that in a minute. The reason I'm coming in uh, at the beginning of... This is just like after the first turn of uh, this mission... It's a four and a half green skull mission. Oh, just a little note. I did, I said one of the titles of my videos is like my first red skull. That wasn't a red skull, that was an orange skull. Uh, I forgot, you know, it goes green, orange, red, purple. I, you know, my eyes aren't the best anymore. So that wasn't a red skull, that was an orange skull. Anyways, the reason I want to, um, so this mission in particular, this is a four and a half green skull mission for three million bucks. I'm taking all the money. I want lots of money. Um, I just have to wipe out these units, right? So, uh, well, I, I, I shouldn't say that. I, I really don't know what I have to do. I, it says destroy enemy units, and these are the un enemy units that I can see. Not really especially... Um, terrifying honestly um, and I got some allies and I want to show you my allies <laughs> this is um, the Ifrit Malik uh, if you don't know these Ifrits are just they're brutal they are absolutely and there there are different lots of different variations I, I, I believe uh, this is the Shakush um, it has tons of mines. Here is the uh, Sak. Za I don't know how to pronounce these things, right? Like, they got so many weapons, you got to scroll down. These, this has AA rockets, which would be good if they had a lot of um, aircraft, but I, I don't think they do. And what's the last one? Nidhog, Nidhog Bomber. Uh, so this is the Nidhog Bomber. Uh, so it's got a bunch of guided bombs and cluster bombs, I think. I can't read all this. Uh, anyway, so these are my allies. And these are my enemies. Um, and yeah, I think that I might not have much to do i'm not going to say too early because who knows like they could drop like a whole bunch of new enemies or there could be a bunch that i don't see right now um yeah and i've got a bunch of new units and we'll get to those guys once we get to them uh, oh here's one i just got this i i got this because i um well, I, I got all the parts, and I was able to put it together. I've been playing quite a bit uh, without recording, I know, and I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, there's only a week left before the new reset, and I, I want to see how far I can get, and I don't want to record everything, I'm sorry. And I want interesting videos with new things, uh, you know, not just the same mechs every single time. So what do I have? This one has uh, cluster bombs, which I've used before and aren't amazing, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so that is my first new unit. And what is it called? The A11 Lightning Bolt. And I, 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 I had to take one of these down and it was very, very difficult. Da, da, da. So the enemy is going to move. And who do we have here? The Hades. Uh, we know the Hades already. I've had the Hades for a while. I don't know if I've... Um... Oh, yeah, I've still got C3 on everything. <laughs> I'm not so... Um... Yeah. It's okay. C3 is okay, but it doesn't do anything to, like, stop in, in incoming fire like, like ECM does. And and you can't have ECM and C3 at the same time. So um, 
I kind of miss the ECM. And on the harder missions, I got to say, it's not... It's, uh... It's a little difficult. Sorry, I'm talking a lot, and I'm not doing a lot. So, the Hades. I don't know if the Hades is very different. I've got Artemis on it. I, I can't remember. I think I didn't have the laser AMS. I think that was on the Juanita. The Juanita is quite different. Well, you know, a little different. Uh, we'll see. In a moment. And who's this? The Summoner. The Summoner is an older mech I've had for a while. Nothing really new, I don't think. Uh, I can't remember what was on it for. I don't know if it had TSM. Maybe it didn't have TSM, but now it has TSM. So that's, uh, that's nice. Uh, da -da. The Wolverine is pretty much the same as it's been since forever. I, it had an ER medium laser on it for a while, but I had to take that off when I put the C3s on. What do we have here? A Marauder. Same Marauder that we had before, I believe? Did you see the Marauder? I think so. Yeah, I had this in the C3 video. Uh, da -da. So we'll just, I'm, I'm not too worried about what's going to go on here because, you know, I got some good uh, allies. Yeah, I've got a grasshopper. Grasshopper is definitely new. Grasshopper is a uh, long range, you know, ER PPC, ER large laser. Take a look at it here. Oops. That's the grasshopper. Uh, I kept the uh, jump jets because I kind of feel like, you know, grasshopper without jump jets somehow just isn't a grasshopper. And, you know, it, it helps it get onto a little higher terrain sometimes, some better shots at long range. Maybe I'll jump now. I could jump up there. Maybe I'll do that. And just brace, because I can't shoot at anybody yet. Can I? No. Do, do, do. Oh, wait. I didn't. What was that? Uh, that is an Orion. I'm sorry. I just kind of skipped over the Orion. Uh, another new unit, another, I, this one, I liked it because it had the Rotary AC-5, and I like those. It jams a lot, uh, and that's, uh, that's crap. I've got some Artemis LRM-20s on it, a large X-Pulse laser. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a new mech. Kind of slow. I gotta say, uh, I, uh... With the heavier units, obviously, you know, they are uh, they are slower. Uh, and what do we have here? Another Marauder. And I took this Marauder because it had this awesome weapon, which is a mortar. Um, and it has so it has Inferno guided flare uh, air burst, which is great against battle armor. Uh, apparently, I haven't actually used it against battle armor, but apparently it should be. Uh, smoke and acid so good and it has an, another uh, Yakitori AC5 uh, I know it says Kaliyama I always like to call it the Yakitori dun, dun, dun. and a heavy PPC right and there's its armor and stuff Nothing, it's kind of slow, and, uh, yeah, a little boring, but I, well, no, I liked it because the, uh, the mortar, so I took it, and I thought that was fun. So now the spawn protection is removed, and we'll see what these, um, monsters do to these poor little tanks here. I think this is, like, 
As far as I can tell, this is the most one-sided battle. You didn't shoot anybody? Can you not shoot anyone? <laughs> like, this is a one-skull kind of enemy. So I'm kind of thinking there might be something else coming. That I haven't seen yet. So here, let's see. Ay ay ay. Oh dear. <laughs> There's nothing left of that thing. It is oh wow, that was obliterate what wow. yeah. So that's what those guys can do. Oh I'm gonna shoot at them, yeah, with thirteen evasion. It's really hard. It's really hard to hit them. <clears throat> Where are you going? Maybe that was the anti-air one or something? Every okay, so everybody's... Just gonna... Okay. Mm-hmm. Strange idea. I thought they would rush into battle and destroy them, but they're all just kind of hanging out with me. Except for this one. This one's brave. The Malik. Da -da -da -da. Got this lightning, lightning bolt here. I want to see what I can do with this lightning bolt. It's, I hope it doesn't just explode on me. Oh, that's not a very good shot. Oh, that's pretty good. What am I shooting with? Bombs? Clusters? Well, it would be better if they were, like, closer together, obviously. Do I have any different... No, it's just cluster bombs. And there's nothing I can do. I can't... Like, you can't refit... Uh... Vehicles in this. So we'll just shoot this guy. Oh, yeah, easy. Well done, that heavy PVC was pretty good. Not bad. Good show. So Wolverine's too far away to do anything. That's all right. Do, do, do. And here is a summoner. We'll run into battle. I want to get closer because I feel like if the Ifrits are following me, then uh, I better get closer to them. Uh, that's a pretty bad shot, but we'll take it. No, so here, oh, the Waneda is different. I've got uh, not bombs, but missiles. LAA missiles. They're supposedly better against uh, what do you call them? You, well, yeah. Aircraft. So VTOLs and so on. But they're hard to use because they have a minimum range as well. And I've also changed the skills to be way to get more evasion and you know be harder to hit uh it was because this a uh, Winneda with the c3 has become a lot more of a scout and with the with the heavier missions uh being you know that Evasion is a lot, is very important. Du, 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 du. So, yeah, I guess I'll just shoot this guy, the ghost. Not a great shot. Oh, nothing shot. Oh, did I shoot a missile? I think I shot an anti aircraft missile at him. Shouldn't have done that. Doesn't matter. Uh, didn't want to do that. Hades, what can you do? Just some LRMs. 
19, yeah, not a great shot either. Is my uh, C3 network working? Yeah, the C3 network is working. It's just too much other stuff. Grasshopper. You got a bunch of LRMs as well. Oh, you can't go anywhere. You can't move. That's all right. You just stand there. That's a terrible shot. That's slightly better. <clears throat> Dude, Marauder can't do anything. Is that a spore field? Doesn't have any LRMs. The other Marauder, on the other hand, can do things. Can use this mortar. Uh, da, da, but these are vehicles and they don't, aren't affected by heat, I guess. The guided ones will be best. What else do I have? Flare. Oh, the flare ones make it easier to hit them. Do, 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 do. I mean, air burst. I don't think, I don't know if they're good against vehicles. I'm not exactly sure how they work. Smoke is going to make them harder to hit. But if I use the flare, it might, might. I mean, if it hits at all. Which I don't think it did. Did it? Is the whole area flared now? Oh, look at that. Oh. That's interesting. Does that make them easier to hit? Maybe. 5.1... I mean, not a lot easier to hit. I want that those ifrits to go in. Yeah, come on. I mean, I don't have to do much. It's just... Where are you going? What are you doing? Okay, he's doing something. He did something. Wolverine. Oh, the Wolverine can do something if it, it's not going to be a good shot. Come on, where is it? 20%, oh, but they're standard. I can usually improve 25%. Oh no! Did I not see this? Hmm. So, oh, what can I do? Get in this guy's back over here, possibly. Don't shoot an anti-aircraft missile at it. Oh, oh yeah, and an arc launcher. Did I did I not 
say something. So it's got light tag and a Narc launcher. So this is my spotting mech going to get close to you and um, Narc and tag you. Narc attached. Narc attached. Beautiful. Summoner. Can't get a straight shot. I hate when it's like this. Can't. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, right in the side. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Can you get no no that was like the one oh wait 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 all the way up here ah the ac20 is out of range but that's the only that's Marauder, you're just trying to get into the fight, but I could turn on your TSM so you can go a little faster. Oh, if I shoot absolutely everything? Okay. And other Marauder. Slow Marauder. Jeez, that's a terrible shot. 29% on that one. Those are my only two shots? Okay. Flare? Oh, I, don't, I won't use the flare. I'll use... Uh, Wait. Guided? Or maybe acid? Acid. I don't really know what acid does. I think they take more damage afterwards. Just fun to shoot acid at them. Said it. Increased target damage taken times four. Whoa, yeah, okay. That could be that could be good. I haven't really experimented. I don't really know much about the mortar and the acid and all that and what it does. Uh 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 Twen ten percent or twenty two percent. Oh, and my uh, lightning bolt. That's not a terrible shot. Oh, that's a really good shot. Oh, I could get right in the back. Oh, that's still a much better shot. I like this little helicopter. I expect it's not going to last very long. It's kind of weak. But it is hard to hit. All right, I mean, yeah. Not a one shot. Oh, yeah, okay, the grasshopper. You can just, uh, maybe I'll jump down from there. Then or this guy twenty three percent and your toast. Come on, allies, do do your job. Yeah. <laughs> Laying down the mines.
shooting at that Ifrit. Oh, Wolverine can get a shot. Let's get closer. Oh, yeah. Get into the side. gonna be a good shot narc attached I think the narc was already attached doesn't matter Hades can't you get a shot can't you like oh yeah yeah oh if you just stand there just don't move and you got a great shot oh look at that bam bam Still alive. The Hades can move afterwards? Wait a second. Wait a second. Just shot. Why? What? Do I have... Uh, okay, that's kind of weird. Does everybody have that ability? I don't think so. Huh. Why this game is the way it is, I'll never know. Uh... Take off these two. And is that it? That was actually it? Unbelievable. You never know with this game. Three million bucks. I get <clears throat> the strongest allies I've ever had ever. And like, yeah, who knows? <laughs> I was certain something was going to pop out. You know, a bunch of other heavy mechs. Or something. That was a four and a half skull mission. Green skull. And it paid three million bucks. Usually when it, you know, when there's a, when it's a lot of money. And I guess, you know, there's, there's always the, uh, randomness, the random rolls and so on. Yeah, I don't think I took much damage at all. And I took all the money, so yeah, uh, I think I took three million, I think it was like three million bucks. So I get that, that, that's nothing interesting whatsoever. I don't care about that, I just want the money. Yeah, and as you can see, my hatchet man was not part of the team, and the... the at, I've noticed that at these higher levels, the Hatchet Man is actually kind of fragile. It's only a 45-ton mech, right? Even if it can get really good evasion at the higher levels. These guys, you know, they have good gunnery, and they can hit me anyways, and they can honestly sometimes just one-shot the uh, Hatchet Man. Uh, but... Well, yeah. So it's really hard to keep it really safe. Take it out. It's been taken out... I don't know, at least once. And it's it gets quite damaged pretty much every... Uh, almost every time I take it out. Well, I, you know. But this was... Yeah, so I've got a whole bunch of money. And we'll check out the mech bay. See what... Oh, wait. We'll just advance... I think one day is all I need. 
So yeah, uh, Hatchet Man, it's still here. I haven't been able to bring myself to put it into storage. I'm not going to scrap it. I don't think I'll ever scrap the Hatchet Man. It's just too good. It cost me money to keep it out here. Uh, the Wraith, too, I haven't been taking, but the Wraith is actually... I should be taking the Wraith. Uh, it's extremely good. It might even be better than the Wolverine. It's faster. It doesn't do quite as much damage, but it does much more damage at long range. Uh, the Wolverine, it always has to get pretty close. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's hard to say. Because the Wolverine's actually really good if, you, if you're doing a long range battle, but then, you know, like uh, something gets closer to you, uh, you use the Wolverine just to go and pew, pew, Take him out really quick. It's a great mech. What can I say? Uh, yeah. So here's the new Marauder. Take a look at it real quick. Uh, you can see there's the mortar. It's got tons of ammo. Uh, Inferno. I love this because I keep getting, like, Inferno'd. <laughs> and it's really bad. When you're standing in the forest and uh, they just light the whole thing on fire. I mean, it's not that bad, but a lot of my mechs are kind of hot anyways. So, yeah, what was that one? That one was the guided ones and uh, flare. Flares illuminate an area, making targets easier to see by 200%. Remote sensors make targets easier to detect by 50%. So that's neat. Uh, air burst, plus five. 100% <coughs> uh, it, it, damage against squads and, and airborne units. So you can actually use this against airborne units, I guess. Um, so the air burst is pretty neat. Uh, smoke? I don't really know what to do with smoke, to tell you the truth. Clouds an area with a mix of sensor-inhibiting materials and thick smoke. I guess that's when I want to hide. When I want... Because <coughs> I think if I'm in smoke, it's going to be hard to shoot out of the smoke too, isn't it? Or... or I, I don't know. I haven't used smoke. Shooting smoke at your enemies is a terrible idea. Um, but I guess if you wanted to get closer without them really being able to hit you, you could shoot some smoke at the ground in front of you. I don't know. I don't know how to use smoke. It, it seems interesting. It seems like it could be <coughs> useful, but I don't really know how to use it. And the acid target takes 0.5% more damage for two turns does stack plus 70 damage dealt to armor minus 50 percent damage dealt to structure deals area of effect damage within 48 meters of impact up to two area of effect blah 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 so yeah that's all that um it also has a heavy PPC and this AC5 Kaliyama. It's kind of slow. And I wish I could put a better engine into it. I do have a 385 rated engine, but I don't really want to put that in. Then I have to. I also have. I don't know if. I also got this clan xxl engine it's worth a lot of money but i kind of i don't want to sell it because i kind of want to save it like in case i get like a hundred ton mech and i could get like a really huge engine somehow i don't know i don't know what i want to do with that so that's the, the, the here's the grasshopper that's new take a look at that uh, na, 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 na. Yeah, it's got LRM 20s, ER PPC, ER large laser, C3 slave, as always. It has AMS. Uh, oh, and it's got some. It's got LRM, 
normal and I've got this chaff. I wanted to see if that works. It seems kind of neat. Target accuracy reduced by one for two turns. Uh, I haven't used it much. And the dead fire. Those are really good once you get into uh, close range. Can really do a lot of damage with those. Kind of turns it into an SRM. And as I said, it has jib jets. But it's slow. And I really, yeah. These big guys, they get too slow. The look you've seen, the Winata is all different. Uh, I mean, it's not totally different. I did put that Bombay back in with because I saw these and I was like, oh, that's a way to deal with the aircraft. I find that it worked, but I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, it's not. I don't even really know. 40 damage, 40 damage so with this ammo, right? But it is streak, so it doesn't shoot unless it. Uh, Unless it gets a lock, and it has plus 8 accuracy against VTOL units. But there is, like, a minimum range of 60 meters on this, so you can't get close, really close to them. Da -da -da. So that's the new and improved Winata with the light tag and the narc launcher. Everything else. Oh, yeah, no, there's the Orion as well. That's brand new. With that rotary AC-5. It's cool when it works but I find it jams a lot um, more than it should well maybe that's because I turn it up to six all the time and I think you increase the jamming chance uh, when you increase it up to six shots you should really shoot only like up to four Swebna is recoil hey, yeah it gets more Swebna has a 5% jam chance per shot per shot yeah okay <laughs> that makes good sense it is mitigated by gunnery. Um, but yeah, if you shoot six, 5% jam chance. So if I shoot six shots, it has a 1 in 3 chance of jamming. Okay, okay. That's good to know. Uh, yeah, everything else I think you've seen and... Uh, nothing's all that new. I've increased my drop weight. Uh, I got a really great extra good library that gives me, like, tons of, uh, you know, great stuff. And I can, you know, I can do something a little more expensive now. I got a little bit more money. I don't know what I should do. I can, I think I can just... Increases drop tonnage by 50 tons. I mean, that's pretty cheap. I might as well just do it. That's the best thing. You can take more units out on your drops. It's the best. Uh, yeah. So that's how things have been going, and that's where I'm at. And you got to see a little mission. So, uh, But I think that will be the end of this very short video. Uh, so have a good one. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.